Here's the raw material, six and a quarter inch, 6061 aluminum, actually cut great. We had to get a, a coarser tooth saw blade. And if you don't uh, break these blades in, they do break and they're expensive. So you want to do it right, but it actually cut uh, beautifully. Jared's got it chucked up here on the Tormach uh, in a scroll chuck on the table. I already faced off, it's rock and roll. Lakeshore carbide quarter inch carbide drill. I think it's like 5,120 inches a minute. 0.5 inch back. This is the first one. We've got to make uh, six of these for each side, so really 12 operations. So we were playing around here with the horizontal cleanup. This is a 3 8 inch extended length Lakeshore carbide tree through that melt running great. Uh, we've got to do some full depth of cut passes there. The recipe is awesome. I'm super happy with that. Look at this cleanup. It's only This little shoulder here is uh, in the way, not the whole height of it, and all it does is seat the TTS collar, so we're gonna trim a little bit of it off. Sweet. That should do it, and you know what? These, we tend to get a little rubbing there. Let's just back or leave this whole tool just to here. Oh, 
There we have it, one modified three quarter inch TTS shear hog. with the new knockoff GoPro with uh, all these. Let's see, uh, let's see how she turned out. Certainly took a little bit of uh, chip abuse. Halfway done. So now the big question is work holding. We drilled the one hole through and we've got a center hole. So we're gonna hope that this wall is thick enough despite having the holes in it that we can flip it in the same vice chuck. And then we can indicate um, off the center hole to double check. The line that shouldn't be an issue. It's a four jaw, but it is self-centering. And then we can uh, basically clock it by hand to find this point. Uh, and we know that point's location in CAD and, uh, and double check our work. We'll actually put a tool in there and slip it into that hole from the spindle, which, will, which should be good enough. The only reason that the part needs clocked is that the holes on this side need to line up on the holes on that side so there's a and there's a break in the middle and then obviously deburring but otherwise um, the clocking isn't as critical you know this bar here the webbing has been machined to halt the full depth here's the uh here's the setup right now so four jaw chuck and it was repeating pretty good it's an atlas actually um it's a decent quality i mean you know four jaws um self-centering aren't going to be as good as uh individual but we'll take a look
milling's done. Now we've got to turn the OD and the lathe. Look, folks, turned out beautiful. We got, uh, we nailed down flipping it. No real lines at all. Great surface finish. Super happy. A lot of material removal here. One of them has got the milling complete on it. Three there that are ready to be flipped. One of them just poked through on the flip hop, so you can see we're through now. Just got to do some cleanup, and I've got one over here in the lathe where we're turning down the OD. Ignore this finish. This will get turned out nicer when we get through the hole there. Halfway done in the lathe, got to flip it around and do the final off. Turning out pretty nice, though. Here we are, take a look. Six of them off to Beatty Robotics. I think they turned out great. I actually am curious, I don't know if they're gonna do any finishing on these or not. I think we had about two hours and change. So there were three ops, the one held in the machine like this in the middle, flipping it like this. Yes, we had to clock it so that the uh, holes in there in the grooves and backside chamfering is lined up. And then we stuck it in the lathe, actually four ops, because we did one op in the lathe, flipped it and did the other op in the lathe. That was really cleanup work. Um, curious to see what you guys think about how we handled the outside grooves. I knew that trying to take a quarter inch end mill and profile in would have just been horrendous with chatter. So we used a carbide drill, plunged straight down, um, cleaned it up with an end mill on the floor to deal with the fact that the drill point isn't totally flat. And then uh, on the lathe did, you know, interrupted cutting and we got great service finish on the OD. The ID grooves, they have a little bit of like discoloration. I don't know what that's from. I, I don't, I, I'm okay with it. Um, and I think it would go away if you did any sort of post-op, maybe even cleaning to be honest, uh, let alone obviously anodized or powder coat or maybe tracks are gonna go over them. Um, but check out their website, link in the video description. And hopefully this isn't the last we see these guys.